Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for the weekly tip. And today's tip is actually on a new feature where you can import HTML into your email marketing platform on command. So if you're using a previous platform like MailChimp, like Constant Contact, or like MailJet, any platform that you may have been using before, you can now actually download that HTML and add it in command if you want to as well. All right, so to do this, the first thing we're gonna do is go over to our design section inside command. All right, and we're gonna act like we're creating a new email piece. So I'm gonna click the plus sign at the bottom right down here. All right, and then I'm gonna click on this email option as well at the top left. So that way I can click next to access the email editor. Now once we click on the email editor, this is where we're gonna have our standard KBRI templates that are available. We'll have our design templates that we've created. And then up here at the top right, we're going to have the import HTML option. Now, once we click on import HTML, this is where we have two options that are accessible for us. So number one, we can paste inside the code. So if you just have the code copied, you're good to go. You can add that in or we can import the file. So if whenever you're over on any platform, if they give you the option to download that HTML file, you can import that on here. All right, I happen to have the code from one of my recent pieces in MailChimp. So I'm just going to paste this inside. So this is what the back end of the actual MailChimp looks like. All right, so this is what my little piece looks like whenever I send this out. And once I click that import option, now it's going to give us a, a couple of merge functions. So in this case, if we want to add inside any of these merge options on here. We're definitely more than welcome to. I'm just gonna go and skip over this right now just because I happen to have everything set up. But once again, if you wanna sync this, that way it'll merge with everything from your marketing profile, you can. All right, so you can always go through and select everything on the right-hand side too. All right, but I'm gonna click that continue button and voila, it adds it right inside. So now I can actually save this and then send it out from command directly. So this is verbatim what it actually looks like when I use it over inside MailChimp. All right, this is pretty much identical on here. And if you notice, they have some merge options down here too that'll pull up from my info, so that's why Command was asking about it. All right, so now I can literally just copy and paste that code and add that over immediately on here. All right, and then if I want to, I can go through, I can preview this, I can send a test email, or I can even download the template. All right, so then if I click on download template on here, now I can even export that HTML too. All right, so now I'm gonna have the ability to export the HTML. So vice versa, if you actually wanna go through and create the piece over inside command, and then you wanna add it over to another platform that you're utilizing, maybe you wanna add it over to MailChimp, you wanna add it to MailJet onto Constant Contact, you can actually download that HTML, and then you can upload it over to those other platforms too. All right, so all I have to do now is I can save this as whatever I want to, so I can literally go through I can title this as MailChimp test piece. All right, it's gonna give me the same editing options. I can see what it'll look like on a desktop, over on a tablet, on a mobile device on here too. All right, and I'm just gonna save and exit real quick on here. But now I can access this at any time and it's that simple to actually import and even export the HTML so not only can you use all the other pieces that you may have created outside of the command platform inside the email editor, but also vice versa, you can download all the pieces that you've created inside the email editor on command to use on other platforms too. All right, so it's a win-win no matter what type of platform you want to utilize, you'll have the ability now. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.